Hey everyone, it's me Dama and today I'm going to be showing you guys a sewing DIY and this is super, super awesome because it's something that I've been wanting to do but just haven't had the time to do it and it's actually super easy to do. That's awesome to like if you want to use it when you travel or just like just to put in your brush on a daily basis. And this is how it turned out. I loved it. And I'm also going to be doing other like makeup DIYs to like storing your um, either cosmetics or brushes, things like that. So this is how it turned out and I used this awesome blue fabric. This is one of my favorite colors, this like aqua um, blue. And then this fabric as well. I also made a crop top of this fabric. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to um, see below. I'll attach the video. So this is how it turned out. Loved it. And you can use this when you travel or just on a daily basis. So this is how it turned out. Super, super awesome. So if you guys want to know how to do this step by step, make sure to keep on watching. So first you're going to determine which makeup brushes you'll be using. These are the ones that I use the most often and choose two pieces of fabric. This is a cotton fabric. This is not stretchy. And I also have this one as well, which is not stretchy. And to determine how much fabric you need, um, it's just about your personal preference. I already have them set like that. And I added a couple more inches along the side. Horizontally, it's 21 inches. And then I have um, vertically, 15 inches and just fold it over like so just to determine how much fabric um, you'll be folding over from here to here it's four inches approximately so that's how much fabric I'm going to be folding in order to keep them um, secured so the next step is make sure that it's cut so it's 21 inches horizontally and vertically it's 15 inches so make sure you cut it out like so and then this is one piece of fabric this is the printed piece of fabric face down and this is my other solid piece of fabric both cotton so the next step is I'm going to be enclosing all of this along the sides and just make sure to keep at least maybe like two three inches um, not sewing that part. So we're going to be sewing all along here, the sides, the sides, sides, and you're going to stop around right here. So this gap right here, it's not going to be sewn. So I'm going to be doing that and then coming back. once I've sewn it and this is a part that I did not sew so we are going to turn it inside out so I actually forgot to include where we're going to be placing our ribbon in order for us to close it so remember that it was four inches from top to bottom just so we kind of figure out where that ribbon is going to sit so approximately right there so I'm going to be making a hole right here and this is just like removing some of the stitches just like so So we can be able to add some ribbon. So just like that, just make sure that it fits inside. And so make sure that you have that hole there. And that's where the ribbon is going to go. And then the next step is to enclose this here as well, just so it's more secure and it looks prettier along the edges. So we are going to be sewing 
remember that hole that we had right here? We're going to be folding it over and sewing straight, sewing straight, straight. And then remember for right here, you have that little hole. So make sure you allow that hole to be, um, to be able to put in the thread. So make sure you don't sew over that. So just that small part and then just keep on sewing the other part. So this is how it looks once I've sewn all the edges and then make sure that you leave that little hole on the side to put on, to put inside a ribbon. So this is the ribbon that I chose and it's about eight inches from here, from this edge to this edge. And I just placed it in half, so it's 16 inches in total. And I'm just gonna tuck it in here. Tuck it in there. And I'm gonna seal that hole. And sew right on top, and I'm gonna do it twice so it's nice and secure. So this is how it looks once I've sewn in the ribbon. So all I need to do is fold it over to make that pocket so the brushes go inside. And remember that it was four inches. And I'm going to be pinning this down. Same from the other side. Just like so. And then I'm going to be sealing it by sewing it straight across here, straight across here. And right now for the moment, it's just one complete pocket. Then we're going to be adding the individual pockets per individual brush. So now it's sealed from the sides. And the next step is to place all of the brushes just how you want them placed in the holder. So I'm going to be doing that. And let me see, I think I want this one here, this one here, I want them closer to. So I have all sorts of brushes that I like to use. And this is how I'm going to be placing them. So the next step is to grab a piece of chalk. So you know where you're going to be stitching across. So this is my chalk. This is my measuring tape. So I'm going to make it three inches. So So that's one. And you kind of want to do this as well, just so you kind of have an idea. So you're, all you're going to be doing is lines right across, just to see where you're going to be placing those. So I have all of my lines already and you can be a little more precise and measure it so it's more accurate. So I have all of my lines so I know where I'm going to be sewing. So this is how it looks once I've sewn straight across the little pockets per individual brush that I already had in mind. So all I need to do now is just place my brushes inside. Just like so. And you can even put multiple brushes in one. So that's also pretty convenient. And that's how it looks. And then you can just roll it like that. And tie it. And you can travel with it like that, or you can just leave your brushes like that. And 
done this is how it looks so I love this fabric loved how it turned out and it's super convenient that you can use for your makeup brushes one more time so this is how it turned out super awesome honestly like I see it, I'm like oh my goodness super pretty no one will ever have one like mine that's what I like about sewing and I think it's super creative to do your own things and like no one if someone sees this they're gonna be like oh like where did you buy it and you're like I made it so no one else has one like this so I really like the uniqueness of this I love the fabric everything it's super convenient you just roll it and you can put it in your luggage and travel with it so this is how it looks let me show you guys and you can even add like a pop of color with a different color ribbon so this is how it turned out super awesome um, if you guys want to know how to do like other things as well make sure to comment down below and follow me on all of my social media Instagram Facebook Google Plus and did I say Instagram <laughs> all that good stuff so thank you guys so much for watching and as always I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time Mwah.